Lesson one, making breakfast. Mary asks her daughter Lily what she wants for breakfast, and then makes it for her. Lily, what kind of cereal would you like? What do we have? We have Cheerios and Corn Flakes. I'll have Corn Flakes. How would you like your egg? Scrambled as usual? No, I think I'll have a soft-boiled one for a change. Here you are. I hope it's not too hard. It's just right. Pass me the salt shaker, please. Here you are. Have some more toast? No thanks. I've already had two slices. Would you like a cup of coffee? No thanks, I'm full. Lesson two, breakfast. Mary is talking to her husband, John, over breakfast. Good morning, dear. Good morning, darling. Did you sleep well? Yes, thanks. I slept like a log. You're just in time for breakfast. Good. What are we having? The usual. I hope you have a good appetite. I always have an appetite like a bear in the morning. Great. Here's your coffee. Be careful. It's piping hot. Thanks. May I have some sugar? It's right in front of you, dear. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Have some toast. The milk is in the refrigerator. Help yourself. Lesson three, fast food. John is at the drive-through of a fast food restaurant ordering takeout. Welcome to Burger Town. What can I get for you today? A burger, please. What would you like on it? What do you mean? Well, would you like ketchup, onions, or mustard? Oh, I see. I'd like everything, please. Something to drink. A coke, please. Large or small. Large, please. That comes to four twenty-five. Please pull up to the window. Thanks. Lesson four, to go. John is at the counter of a fast food restaurant getting his order to go. Next, please. Let me have a hot dog, please. Anything on it? No thanks. What would you like to drink? A milkshake, please. What flavor? Strawberry. Anything else? No, that's all. Here to go. To go. Just a minute, please. A moment later. Here you go. Thanks. Lesson five. Taking a break. After a day of shopping, Mary and her friend Rose are taking a break at a coffee shop. Oh, I can't go any further. Shall we take a break? Good idea. Would you care for a cup of coffee? I would prefer a cup of tea. Okay, there's a little coffee shop down this road. Let's go. Is it far? No, it's quite near, just around this corner. Okay, let's go. I'm very thirsty. In the shop. An Irish coffee for you? Not at this time of the day, just an ordinary one. With sugar and cream? Yes, thank you. Lesson six: Waiting for a table. John and his wife Mary have to wait for a table at a busy restaurant because they didn't make a reservation. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'd like a table for two. Do you have a reservation? No, I don't. Would you like a table close to the stage? No, it's too noisy. Could I have that small table by the window? No, I'm sorry, sir. It's been reserved. That's too bad. I'm afraid you'll have to wait a few minutes. We'll have a table available soon. That'll be fine. Several minutes later. 
Ah, here we are. This way, please. Lesson 7 Ordering John orders his meal after he takes a minute to decide what he wants. Good evening, sir. Here's your menu. Okay, give me a minute to look it over, please. Take your time. I'll be with you in a moment. A moment later. May I take your order now, sir? Yes, please. I'd like to start with the chicken soup. What would you like for your main course? Filet mignon, please. How would you like that done? Medium rare. Anything for dessert? No, I'll order dessert later. Lesson 8 Specialty John can't decide what he wants for dinner, so he asks the waiter for his recommendation. Are you ready to order now, sir? I can't decide. What would you recommend? Do you enjoy seafood? We have the best oysters. No, thanks. I'd rather not have seafood. Then may I suggest that you try our roast beef? It's the specialty of the restaurant. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. What else would you like? I'll have a tossed salad, please. What dressing do you want with that? French, please. Anything else? No, I think that's all. I'll get that for you in just a minute. Lesson 9. Waiting to be served. John's order has been lost, so he complains to the waiter. Waiter? Yes, sir. What is it? What happened to my order? I've been waiting for nearly a half an hour. What did you order, sir? Roast beef and a tossed salad. Okay, I'll take care of it right away. Thank you. A moment later. Here you are, sir. This is not what I asked for. It isn't? May I ask again what you ordered, sir? I ordered well done. This is rare. I'm awfully sorry, sir. Your meal will be ready in just a second. Lesson 10. Check, please. After John finishes his meal, he asks the waiter to bring him the check and where the bathroom is. Waiter, check, please. Right away, sir. How much does it come to? Altogether, twenty-five thirty-eight. Here's 30. Keep the change. Thank you, sir. Please come again. I will. By the way, could you tell me where the restroom is? Of course. Go down the hall, and the restroom is on the right-hand side at the end. Down the hall on the right, right? That's right, sir. Thank you. Lesson 11. Pub. John and his friend Bob are chatting over drinks at a bar. What can I get you to drink? I'll have a whiskey with soda water. Whiskey is too strong for me. I'll have a light beer. You're not a big drinker, are you? No, I can only take weak drinks. Their whiskey isn't bad. Why don't you have a glass? Okay, I'll have a little. Let me pour you a glass. Say when. Thanks. That's enough. Are you sure you don't want a little more? I'm sure. Thanks. Lesson 12. Recipe. While Bill is having dinner at John and Mary's house, he compliments Mary's cooking and asks her for the recipe. Mmm, this is delicious. Oh, do you really like it? Yes, it's superb. Well, it's kind of you to say so. In fact, could I ask you for the recipe? Sure. It's really very easy. First, mix together an egg, two teaspoons of salt, and two pounds of ground beef. Then add two ounces of milk. Are you with me? Yes, I've got it. 
Okay, next put the mixture into a baking pan and bake it 45 minutes at 360 degrees. Wait a minute. I didn't catch you there. Could you repeat that? Sure. Bake it 45 minutes at 360. Now I've got it. Thank you. Lesson 13. Supermarket. John is shopping at the supermarket, but he can't find anything, so he asks the clerk for help. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'm at a complete loss. I'm looking for the sugar. Sugar? It's in the food section on aisle B. I'm sorry, did you say aisle D? I said B. Oh, I see. Thanks very much. My pleasure. One more thing. Could you tell me where the household supplies are? You bet. Go down this aisle and turn left. Thanks, you've been very helpful. Lesson 14. Paying. While John is at the supermarket checkout counter having his purchase rung up, the cashier makes a mistake and John corrects her. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How much do I owe you? That comes to $4.64. 464? Are you sure that's right? That seems a little too high to me. Well, let's see. The milk was one eighty nine. The potatoes are ninety nine cents. Wait a minute. I don't think you're right there. The potatoes should be eighty cents. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Never mind. Now it comes to a total of four dollars and forty five cents. Here's a twenty. All right. Your change is $15.55. Here you are. Thank you. Have a nice day. Lesson 15. My Treat. Bob asks his colleague John out for lunch to repay him for his help. Good afternoon, Bob. How was your morning? Busy as usual. How about yours? Just routine. Nothing very special. Did you have lunch yet? Not yet. Would you care to join me? Sure. Let me treat you to lunch. Oh, that's nice of you. But why do I deserve that? I want to thank you for helping me paint my house the other day. I owe you. That isn't necessary at all. Let's go Dutch. No, I really want to. Well, if you put it that way, okay. Good. Let's go. Lesson 16. Diet. Mary asks her daughter Lily why she is eating so little, and Lily tells her that she is on a diet. Lily, you're eating like a bird. I just can't eat anymore. Is anything wrong with you? No, Mom. I'm all right. I'm on a diet. On a diet? Don't be silly. You're slim enough. I'm putting on weight. Would you like a piece of meat pie? It's your favorite. No, thanks. Come on now. You've hardly eaten anything. Well, maybe I can manage a very small piece. Please do. Lesson 17. Buying a Sweater While Mary and her friend Rose are shopping, Mary sees two sweaters, but she can't decide which to buy. Which one do you think is better? Well, the quality of the wool one is very good. But it's too expensive. Yes, the acrylic one is cheaper, but I think wool feels better. That's true. The wool one feels warm and soft. It's made of the best wool from New Zealand. Oh, but I like the color of the other one. It's much brighter. That's true. It's more fashionable, isn't it? Oh, dear. I'm getting more and more confused. 
So which one will you take? It's a hard choice. Ah, <sighs> I'll just have to leave it for the moment. Lesson eighteen, the price. While John is shopping for a sweater for his wife, a clerk is giving him suggestions. Can you show me some sweaters, please? Certainly, sir. We have a large variety over here. I'm sorry. I want ladies' sweaters, not men's. I see. The women's are this way. Would you like a V-neck or a turtleneck? A turtleneck. Do you like any of these? That one there is very nice. How much is it? It's 169. That's more than I want to spend. Do you have anything less expensive? Certainly, sir. What price range do you have in mind? I'd like to stay under a hundred dollars. In that case, I strongly recommend this one. It's just five dollars over your limit and is worth every penny of it. Okay, I'll take it. Lesson nineteen: Trying on clothes. While Mary is shopping for a dress, a saleswoman is helping her pick one out. Good morning, ma'am. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, I'd like to see one of those dresses. You mean this one? Yes. What is this dress made of? It's silk. Pretty, isn't it? May I try this one on? Certainly. What size do you wear? Six. Here you are. The dressing rooms are over there. A few minutes later, Mary comes back from the dressing room. How does it fit? Perfectly. I'll take it. Lesson twenty, stuck zipper. John is helping his wife Mary to zip up her dress. Oh, can you do me a favor, honey? What seems to be the trouble? Oh, my zipper's stuck. Let me take a look. It looks as if your blouse is caught in the zipper. Oh, can you get it out without tearing the blouse? I think so, dear. Well, be careful. We'll just have to be patient and work it out little by little. This is a new blouse. Don't worry. If I go slowly, it should come loose without causing any damage. I hope you can get it. There, I've got it out. Oh, you did it! Oh, thank you so much, honey. Lesson twenty-one, accessories. Lily is helping her younger sister Rory pick out jewelry. Look at this dress Mom got for me for the dance tonight. Wow, looks like Mom really splurged on you. But I need a pair of earrings to go with it. Don't worry about it. I'll lend you mine, and I've got some bracelets that'll match your new dress too. Oh, but I was going to wear my charm bracelet. Yeah, if you want to look like a geek. Oh. What about Mom's pearl necklace or a pendant? I don't know. Pearls might be cool. Put them on and let's see. Oh, Lily! Everyone thinks the ankle chain you gave me for my birthday is hot. Thanks again. What are sisters for? Rory is dressed and ready to go. Oh, my little angel isn't so little anymore. You'll be breaking some hearts tonight. Oh, Dad! Lesson twenty-two: Delivery service. Mary buys a skirt that needs to be altered, and decides to have it delivered to her office. I really think this skirt is a little long. We could have alteration shorten it for you, ma'am. Oh, that would be nice. 
Please shorten it about an inch for me. Let me take your measurements. The salesperson takes Mary's measurements. How long will I need to wait? Hmm, about half an hour. Maybe you could do some other shopping while we are making the alterations. No, I have to run back home. Ah, <sighs> can I have this delivered to my office? Of course, ma'am. May I have the address and phone number, please? It's thirty-six North End Street. The phone is five 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 twenty-eight seventy-four, extension five twelve. And your name, please? Mary Smith. When can I expect the delivery? It'll go out with the first delivery tomorrow morning. You'll receive it before noon. Lesson twenty-three, tailored suit. John is at the tailor's ordering a suit. I'd like to have a suit made. Very good, sir. What material do you have in mind? I would prefer something soft and light. How's this? Yes, I'll take that. This material is of superior quality. I guarantee. I have no doubt. What's the price for making a suit and an extra pair of pants? Two thousand six hundred dollars. Good, and please be sure to take my measurements carefully. I will, sir. When will the suit be ready? In two weeks. I'll have it ready on Friday for your first fitting. Lesson twenty-four, suit fitting. John is at the tailor's for a fitting. Good morning. I've come for my suit fitting. Is it ready? Yes, here it is. Let me help you. It's a little too tight under the right arm. I'll let it out a bit. Don't worry. Don't you think the jacket is a little loose around the waist? It seems so. I'll take that in a little. When will the suit be ready? In two weeks. Why does it take so long? Normally, it takes three to four weeks. Don't you have express service? I'm leaving town next week. We do offer express service, but the charge for the workmanship is double. That's okay. I have to get this suit by early next week. Lesson twenty-five, laundry. While Bob is doing the laundry, he is talking to his friend John. Oh my word! My clothes are all pink. It must be that new detergent. <laughs> Good job, Einstein. This isn't funny, John. My best white shirt is ruined. Bleach the shirt. It'll be okay. Next time, separate everything into dark, light, and white batches. You nut. That brand new Red Bull sweatsuit bled onto the other clothes. I can't afford spending more time and money washing my stuff. You'd rather buy new clothes every day. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks again for those dryer sheets. The static electricity disappeared like magic, huh? Yeah, my clothes used to stick together like Velcro. Don't wash that silk suit and tie in the washer. Yeah? Why not? Lesson twenty-six: What to wear. As John is getting dressed for an important interview, his wife Mary is helping him pick out his clothes. I don't know what to wear today, dear. Hmm. Why are you being so fussy about your clothes today? I'm going to have an important interview. Well, I'm sure you'll do well, dear. Thanks. Do you like this suit? Yes, you look very smart in that blue one. How about the tie? Do you think this will match?、Mm, no, not really. Why don't you wear your new one? Which one? The one the kids gave you for your birthday. Oh, that one! I'll get it. 
John puts on the tie. How's that? It goes perfectly with your suit. Lesson 27 Real Estate Agency John is talking to Jim, a real estate agent, about an apartment. We're looking for a three bedroom apartment. Hmm, I think I have just what you're looking for. Oh, good. Where is it? On Forest Avenue. Forest Avenue. Is that downtown? Yes, it is. What kind of neighborhood is it? I think you like the neighborhood. It's very safe. That sounds good. How much is the rent? It's very reasonable. It's $1,500 a month. Does that include utilities? Everything except the gas. Lesson 28. Renting an Apartment Jim, a real estate agent, is showing Mary and her husband John an apartment. Can we see the kitchen? Sure. This way, please. Oh, the kitchen is so spacious. Yes, I knew you'd love it. Is this refrigerator new? Yes, it's brand new. Hmm, another question. Are dogs allowed in this building? Dogs? I think dogs are allowed. When can we move in? Anytime. If it's all right with you, we want to move in tomorrow. No problem. I need two months rent in advance plus an $800 security deposit that you'll get back when you move out. Lesson 29. Interior Design John and his wife Mary are talking about remodeling their new apartment. John, I already have the perfect color scheme and design in mind. Sounds wonderful, dear. I have a few ideas myself. I want white marble in the entranceway with a tall glass chandelier. I want to punch out that pantry wall and put up cabinets to display your china. But that'll make the kitchen area so huge. Right! We can put an island in the middle of the floor with a grill barbecue in the works. Great idea! We've just got to figure out what's going to come first. The entranceway is going to be everyone's first impression of our home. So drop your ideas and we'll go over them with the contractor. Lesson 30. Buying Furniture John is talking to a furniture store clerk about buying a new living room set. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I want to buy a living room set. Come over here, please. We have a very wide selection. What's this table made of? This one? No, uh, the one over there. It's maple. Oh, I like this sofa. It's as comfortable as a bed. Well, it is a bed. I mean, it can be converted into one. How convenient! I'll take it. Do you have an installment plan? Yes. You can pay in 12 easy monthly installments. Lesson 31. Arranging Furniture Mary and her husband John are arranging their new living room furniture. John, can you do me a favor? Of course. What can I do for you? Help me move the table. It's too heavy for me. Why? The table is a bit in the way. Where do you want it then? Next to the window. In that case, you'll have to move the sofa to make room for the table. You're right. But where should we put this sofa? We can put it in the small bedroom. But the cabinet will block the entrance. We'd have to move it too. Can we move it by ourselves? Uh, I doubt it. Lesson 32. Colleagues visit. 
While John is showing his colleague Tony around his new place, Tony compliments the decor. You have a lovely home, John. I hope you'll show me around inside sometime. There is no time like the present. Please come right in. I'll be happy to show you around. That's very kind of you. I hope I'm not putting you into a lot of trouble. No trouble at all. Now, here's the living room. It's quite spacious, isn't it? And very sunny, too. Yes, the room faces south, so we have sunshine all day long. It's beautifully furnished. I'm glad you like it. Who is your designer, and where did you ever get this furniture? We hired Shields and Ross to do the design, but most of the furnishings had to be made to order. No wonder it is so nice. Lesson 33. House Repairs John calls a plumber to repair a leak in the kitchen sink. Bob's plumbing and heating. Hello, could you tell me if you fix kitchen sinks? Yes, we do. What's the problem? Water is leaking all over my kitchen floor. Well, we can send over one of our plumbers at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Will someone be at home then? At 4 o'clock this afternoon, I'll be here. Okay, what's the name? John Smith. And the address? Number 2236 Hemlock Street. All right, Mr. Smith. We'll have a plumber there at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Thanks very much. Lesson 34. Hotel Reservations. John is making reservations for a hotel room over the phone. Hilton Hotel, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to make a reservation for tomorrow. What kind of room would you like? A double, please. And how long do you plan to stay, sir? Three days. What's the price of the room? That'll be $119 a night. Are any meals included? Yes, we have a complimentary breakfast buffet on the mezzanine. That's fine. May I have your name, please? Yes, John Smith. Thank you, Mr. Smith. We'll be expecting you. Lesson 35 Check in. John is checking into a hotel. Good evening, sir. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to check in. Do you have a reservation, sir? Yes, I have a reservation for three nights. Your name, please. John Smith. Just a moment, please. Oh, yes. A double room, is that right? Yes, I'm with my wife. Would you please fill out this registration slip? No problem. John finishes filling out the form. Here's your room key. Thank you. Could we have someone help us with our bags, please? Certainly. I'll ring for someone to help you. Have a pleasant stay. Lesson 36. Wake-up call. John is calling room service for a wake-up call. Room service, how may I help you? Good evening. This is room 123. I'm John Smith. Yes, sir. I wonder if you could do me a favor. I'll be happy to if I can, Mr. Smith. Can you please give me a wake-up call at 6 tomorrow morning? I certainly can. Thank you. Do you provide breakfast that early? Yes, sir. You can have your breakfast either in your room or at the breakfast buffet. Good. Another thing. I need an extra blanket for the night. That's no problem, Mr. Smith. I'll send one up right away. Lesson 37. Room Service. 
John is calling room service to get his shirts laundered and suit pressed. Room service, what can I do for you? I have some shirts that need to be laundered and I'd like my suit pressed. Your room number, please. I'm John Smith in room 123. All right, Mr. Smith. There is a laundry form and a bag in your room. Please fill out the form and then place it and the bag with your clothes in the closet. The maid will come and pick it all up. Hold on. I can't see the laundry form. Where is it? It's in the drawer of the table beside your bed. Ah, oh, yes, I've got it. How long will it take to get my things back? The laundry will be returned to your room tomorrow before noon. All right. I've got it all ready here. We'll pick it up right away, sir. Lesson 38. Asking for help. John has locked himself out of his room and goes to the front desk for help. Excuse me, can you help me, please? Yes, sir. I left my key in my room. I've locked myself out. I see. What should I do? You'll need to go down to the front desk and ask for a duplicate key. Don't worry. At the front desk. I've locked myself out. Could I have a duplicate key? Of course, sir. What's your room number? 123. Here you are, sir. By the way, is there any mail for me? Yes, there is a letter here from New York. Lesson 39. Check out. John is checking out of a hotel. Desk clerk, good morning. Good morning. This is John Smith in room 123. I'm getting ready to leave. Would you send a bellhop for my bags, please? Yes, sir. Right away. At the front desk. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I'm checking out. Can I have your key and room number, please? Room 123. Here's my key. Here's your bill, sir. Could you please check it? It looks all right. Do you accept traveler's checks? Most certainly, sir. Here you are. Lesson 40. Confirming Airline Reservations. John is calling to confirm his reservation for his flight to Paris. Hello, Eastward Airlines. How can I help you? Hello, I wish to confirm our reservation. Okay. May I have your name, please? John Smith. I beg your pardon, sir? John Smith. Ah, which flight are you booked on? We have reservations for flight number 109 leaving tomorrow morning at 9.15 for Paris. How many are there in your party, please? Two, my wife and I. Hold on a second, please. The operator checks the reservation. Right, sir. You are booked and confirmed on flight 109 to Paris tomorrow. Lesson 41. Flight Check-In. John is at the airport check-in counter checking in. Is this where I check in for flight number 109? Yes, this is it. Would you like to check in now? Yes, of course. Here are our tickets and passports. Do you have a seating preference? Near a window, please. Would you like the smoking or non-smoking section? We don't smoke. Do you have any luggage that you'd like to check at this time? Just two, please. Right here. Any carry-on luggage? Yes, this bag. All right. Here are your boarding passes. Have a pleasant flight. Lesson 42. Boarding. John and his wife Mary are boarding their flight. 
Good morning. Welcome aboard. This way, please. Thank you, Miss. Will you direct us to our seats, please? Certainly. May I see your boarding passes, please? Sure. Here they are. Thank you. Your seats are in the middle of the cabin. Follow me, please. The flight attendant leads John and Mary to their seats. Here you are. Thank you, Miss. How long is the flight? It's about five hours. Can you tell me what time we'll arrive? Sure. Let me see. Hmm. Seven twenty-five p.m. Is that Paris time? Yes. Seven twenty-five in the evening. Lesson forty-three. Customs. John is going through customs. May I see your passport, please? Yes, here it is. Do you have anything to declare? No, I don't. Do you have any cigarettes or liquor? Yes, I have one carton of cigarettes and a bottle of whiskey. Don't you have any gifts or valuable articles? I have two cameras. Uh huh. What's their value? One is worth about four hundred dollars, and the other about five hundred dollars. Are they gifts? Well, this one is a gift, and the other one is for my own use. I see. Thank you. Good day. Lesson forty-four. Taxi. John hails a taxi to go to the train station. Hey, taxi! Where to, sir? Can you get me to the railway station quick? Hop in. Could you put my luggage in the trunk, please? Sure. In the taxi. Driver, can you drive faster? I'm afraid I might miss my train. I'm sorry. There's just too much traffic. I think I'm going to miss the train. When does your train leave? In about half an hour. Don't worry. We can take a road where there's no traffic. Great. Lesson forty-five. Traffic jam. While John is on his way to the train station, his taxi gets stuck in a traffic jam. Oh, we're stuck in a traffic jam. The traffic's always heavy at this time of day. This is just great. Is there any way we can get out of here? I'm afraid there's nothing we can do but wait. Oh, it's hopeless. I'm sure I'll miss my train. Wait a minute. We can turn at the next intersection. I know another road we can take. Terrific. Is the traffic lighter there? Yeah, it's the quiet road. But we'll go through a toll booth. That'll cost you a little extra. So it's a shortcut. Yeah. It really doesn't matter as long as I can catch the train at the railway station. Here you are, sir. You still got seven minutes to spare. Seventeen fifty, please. John is paying the taxi driver. Thank you. Keep the change. Lesson forty-six. Train. John is at the train station ticket counter buying a ticket to New York. When is the next train to New York? The next train leaves at seven fifty-five. That's about two hours from now. There isn't anything before then. There's a local train that leaves at seven o three, but that gets into New York later than the seven fifty-five. What time is the seven fifty-five due in New York? That train gets there at nine o'clock on the button. Well, I guess I'll have to wait. Let me have a ticket for the seven fifty-five, please. One way or round trip. One way, first class, please. Here you are. Which platform will my train be at? Platform four. Just follow the blue arrows. 
Lesson 47. Bus. John is asking a passerby how to get to the Metropolitan Museum of Art by bus. Does this bus go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art? The Met? No, it doesn't. Which bus will take me there? You need to take the number 10. Where can I catch it? Right here at this stop. Do you happen to know how often a number 10 comes by? About every 10 or 15 minutes. Most of the buses I've seen have been pretty crowded. How about the number 10? Yes, I'm afraid it will be too. It's rush hour now. Thank you anyway. Lesson 48 Asking for a Directions. John is lost in a strange city and asks a police officer for directions back to his hotel. Excuse me, officer. I'm a stranger here and I'm lost. Where do you want to go? I want to get back to my hotel, the Hilton Hotel. Well, your trouble is that you're walking in the opposite direction of the hotel. Oh, no wonder. Could you please point me in the right direction? With pleasure. Walk down this road, take the first left. Then walk four blocks and you'll find the hotel. About how long will it take me to walk there? Uh, about half an hour. Is there a bus I can take to get there? Actually, you can take the subway and get off at 60th Street. Where can I get the subway? Just across the street. See? Yes, I see it. Thank you. Lesson 49 Car Rental John is talking to an agent at a car rental agency about renting a car. I'd like to rent a car, please. What kind of car would you like, a compact or a sedan? I'd like a compact. Here's our inventory of cars. I like this one, the Toyota Sprinter. All right. How long will you need it? About a week. What's the rate? $26.90 a day with unlimited mileage. Does that include insurance? Yes, it does. May I see your driver's license, please? Sure. I have an international driver's license and this is my credit card. Good. Now please fill out this form and you'll be on your way. Lesson 50 Gas Station John is getting his car filled up at a gas station. What kind of gas do you want? I don't really know. This is a rental car and it's the first time I've gotten gas for it. We have regular, super, and premium. This is a new car, so I'd recommend the premium. Thanks. Please fill it up. All right, sir. Do you want your windshield cleaned? Yes, thanks. While you're at it, can you check the water, oil, and tires too? No problem. Do you have a toilet? Yes, sir. Right over there. John comes back from the restroom. Your car's ready. It needed some water, but the tires and oil were all right. Good. How much does it come to? Nine gallons of premium. That's $15.32, please. Lesson 51 Parking. John is talking to a police officer about where he can park his car. Excuse me, sir. I'm afraid you can't leave your car here. I just want to pick up a package upstairs. It won't take long. I'm sorry, sir. Parking is not allowed here. Can't I park here for just a second? You can. But your car will be towed immediately, sir. Then can you tell me where I can park? I can't see any parking lots around here. Drive ahead just a couple of blocks. You can park at that corner lot. Are you sure I can park there? I'm sure, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks for your cooperation, sir. 
Lesson 52 Taking a Cruise Mary and her husband John are on a cruise. This cruise is so exciting and relaxing all at the same time. I feel like we're honeymooners cruising out here on the Caribbean. Yes. Oh, the Cayman Islands yesterday were heaven. Right. To walk on the same beaches as Christopher Columbus. Wow. Honey, why don't we try that French restaurant on the upper deck tonight? Why not? I'm going to try my luck at the casino right now. And I'm off to get my tropical rain shower. I want to see the stage show Live Legends after dinner. Ooh, I can't wait! Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, Diana Ross! And we'll be docking at the New Orleans port at 9 tomorrow morning. This is one adventure after the other. See you, dear. Take care. Lesson 53 Paying a Bill John is talking to a shoe store salesperson about buying a pair of shoes. May I see those shoes, please? They're really a good buy. Here you are. They aren't the latest style, are they? No, sir, but that's why they're a bargain. I see. These are top quality shoes. All right, I'll take them. Can I give you a check? I'm sorry, sir. We do not accept personal checks. A credit card? Yes. Okay, then charge it to my card, please. All right, sir. Lesson 54 Warranty Mary is at a store returning her purchase because it is defective. Hello, ma'am. What can I do for you? Could I have a refund on this? Is anything wrong with it? Yes, this part is defective. I didn't notice it when I bought it. Oh, I'm sorry about that. May I see your sales slip, please? Yes, here it is. The salesperson looks at the sales slip. I'm sorry, ma'am. Your refund period expired ten days ago. Uh, what difference does ten days make? Well, even though you can't get a refund on it, I can let you exchange it for another one or anything else. Oh, do you have exactly the same kind, the same color, style, and size? Let me see. Hmm. This one is the same style and size, but just the color is different. Oh, it looks like I have no choice. Can you order one in this same color? I can sure try. Hold on just a minute. Lesson 55. Wrong Number Mary is calling David, her friend, but she has the wrong number. Hello? Hello? I'd like to speak to David. I'm sorry, but there's no one here by that name. Isn't this the Smiths? Yes, this is the Smiths. What number are you calling? I was calling 555-2893. Maybe my finger slipped and I touched the wrong number. No, you called the right number. This is 555-2893. Really? But there's no one named David here. Oh, sorry to have bothered you. I'll check the number again. That's all right. Bye-bye. Lesson 56. Talking on the phone. Mary is calling her friend Rose to chat. May I speak to Rose? Speaking. Oh, hello, Rose. Who's this? This is Mary. Oh, Mary. How are you? Fine, thank you. How have you been? Terrible. What's wrong? I've got a bad cold. I need to stay indoors. I'm so sorry to hear that, Rose. Have a good rest, and I hope you feel better soon. 
Lesson 57. Leaving a Message. Nancy is calling her friend Lily, but she is out of town. So Lily's mom, Mary, offers to take a message. Hello? May I speak to Lily Smith, please? Lily is out of town till Friday. Oh, that's too bad. May I ask who's calling, please? This is Nancy Wilson. Is there another number where I can reach her? I'm sorry, Nancy. She's on a trip and there's no way to contact her. I really have to talk to her, Mrs. Smith. Can I take a message? She might call here this evening. Yes. Please tell her to call me right away. It's urgent. Your number, please? She knows my number. All right, Nancy. I'll let her know. Lesson 58 Collect Call. Mary is placing a collect call to her niece, Sally. Operator, may I help you? Hello, I'd like to make a collect call to New York. Station to station or person to person? Person to person. Okay, who are you calling? Sally Black. Her number is 718 555 4837. What's your name, please? Mary Smith. I'm her niece. All right, hold the line, please. The operator makes the call. I have a collect call for Sally Black from Mary Smith. Will you accept the charges? Yes, this is Sally Black. I'll accept the charges. Go ahead, please. Lesson 59 Seeing the Doctor. Mary is at the doctor's office because she has a stomach ache. What seems to be the problem? I have a terrible stomach ache. How long have you been like this? Since Saturday night. Any other symptoms? Yes, I also feel dizzy. Can you think of anything you ate for dinner Saturday that might have caused it? Ah, <sighs> all I can think of is the fish we had. It didn't taste quite right. That might be it. Get this prescription filled at the pharmacy. Take one tablet right away, and you should be feeling better soon. Thank you, Doctor. I also suggest that you follow a special diet. What's that? You should stick to eating lighter foods. Lesson 60 Drugstore John is at the drugstore having a prescription filled. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to have this prescription filled. It'll take just a few minutes, sir. Is there anything else? Yes, I'd like some toothpaste. What brand? Colgate, please. The toothpaste is in that aisle there. Thanks so much. A few minutes later. Here's your prescription. Thank you. Be sure to follow the directions. Take one tablet three times a day. I understand. One tablet three times a day. That's right. Bye now. Lesson 61 Opening an Account. John is at the bank opening an account. Can I help you with something? Yes, I would like to open an account with your bank. Do you want a checking or a savings account? Actually, I want both. Please fill out these forms first. John fills out the forms. Here you are. May I see your ID, please? Here you are. Please sign on both signature cards. Do I have to make a minimum deposit in order to open an account? Yes. For a checking account, the minimum is $500. For a savings account, it depends on the type of account you wish to open. Lesson 62 Making a Withdrawal. 
Mary is at the bank making a withdrawal. I'd like to make a withdrawal. How much would you like? Could you first check the balance left in my checking account, please? I'll write it down for you. The clerk hands a slip to Mary. Ooh, okay. Hmm, in that case, I'll just take out $800. Please fill out this withdrawal slip. Mary fills out the slip. Here you are. May I see your ID, please? Oh, sure. How would you like your money? Could I have five hundreds, two fifties, and the rest in twenties, please? Certainly. Here you are. Lesson 63 Post Office Mary is at the post office mailing a letter to New York. I'd like to send this letter to New York. Airmail or surface mail? Do you happen to know the airmail rate to New York? I can easily look it up. It's 32 cents for the first ounce and 26 cents for each additional ounce. Huh, how long does it take for a letter to get there by airmail? Normally, it takes three or four days. Okay, airmail, please. And I'd like to register it, too, please. Would you like to insure it, too? No, there's only a check and a photograph. What's the postage on it, then? That'll be a dollar and eighty-three cents. Okay, here you are. And here's your receipt. Lesson 64. Barber Shop. John is at the barber's getting a haircut. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'd like a haircut. Please have a seat here. How would you like it cut? Cut it short on the back with just a trim on top and a part to the left. Would you like a shampoo? Will it take long? Around 30 minutes. That'll be all right. Go ahead. After 30 minutes. How does it look, sir? Fine, but could you trim a little more off the sides? Sure, no problem. I'd like my hair to be just right. Sure, I understand. Lesson 65. Beauty Salon. Mary is at the beauty salon getting a perm. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I made an appointment for a perm at, at 4 o'clock. Oh, yes. Please sit down. Thank you. What kind of permanent would you like to have? What kinds do you have? Oh, we have quite a variety. Regular, cold perm, straight perm, and foam. Ooh, today I'll try a foam perm. All right, please come and have a seat here. Could you please set the wave a little looser than usual? Not a problem, ma'am.